Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome back to another Ground Update video, where today we're going to be hopping in and listening to part three of our uh, audio log playthrough, where we're going to be sitting back and listening to all of the audio logs, just relaxing in our chair and having ourselves a great time. If you guys missed it, part one and part two go over all of the ominous and Dr. Tully logs, and I hate for you guys to miss those, so make sure you guys check out the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe, but let's hit, sit back, let's relax, and let's just listen to some wonderful burgle logs from one all the way to nine. Thank you guys as much and here we go brutal transcription unit 87.9.5 order number one robot i need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits hello my name is burgle and i will be serving you today i specialize in cooking flipping and g -g grilling grilling a feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap I need you to monitor these readings, Virgo. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. Transcription Unit 87.10.25 Order Number 73 I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark Threes. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. All solved with you, Mark IVs, not to mention your most excellent moustaches. Thank you. I will never forget this moment. Verbal transcription unit 87.11.22. Order number 43. Do it again, Burgle, for old time's sake. What's that, Dr. Tully? Play the old script. Right away! Hello, and welcome to Roby's Classic Automated Burger Shop. My name is Burgle, and I will be taking your order today. Perhaps I can interest you in the daily specials? My favorite is the Roby's 0.375 pounder with cheese with a side of mammal style fries. That will do just fine, Burgle. Remember the Roby B -B Burger motto! Make every day exponentially great! Verbal Transcription Unit 89.3.23 Order Number 20 Burgle, did you organize my research notes on the material properties of the hedge berries as I directed? Of course! Well, no. Good. Wait. Explain. I have logged 110,437 different algorithms for organization and compiled them into an alphabetical list. That menu is being printed now and should be ready for review in approximately 12 weeks. After that is complete, I will be able to organize your research notes based on the algorithm you select. Well, let me know when it's done then. Transcription Unit 89.4.14. Order number 80. Burgle, are you there? Yes, sir. It appears that the shrinking process has not overly affected my f -f -f functionality. I do not know how this is possible. I previously believed that all the parts of my functional unit were required for operation, but apparently they were not. Perhaps that means I have some extra storage space. Haha, <laughs> very philosophical. Do you feel anything else? No, everything appears to be the same. Though, I have come to realize that this world is absolutely covered in filth. It is quite concerning. You may wish to wash your hands before returning to work. Transcription Unit 89.4.25 Order Number 34 Burgle, 
Are you in position? Yes, Dr. Tully. I am currently in the air ducts over the ominous security office. But I must protest again. This very much goes against my core programming of cooking, flipping, and grill. Never mind. I am very explicitly instructed to operate under Ominence and Ruby's workplace code of ethics. Delete that behavior. But Dr. Tully, the Ominent employee handbook clearly states... You do want that promotion to lead research assistant, don't you? Transcription unit 89.11.6. Order number 89. End of day inventory. The raw science containment field is holding stable. Readings within acceptable p -p parameters. Dr. Tully will surely be impressed with the state of this experiment when he returns from the head office. Perhaps he will be so impressed that he will finally promote me to lead research assistant. In fact, the probability of this happening is roughly 94.87%. A lead research assistant must be proactive. Maybe I should just see what this does. Uh-oh. Transcription unit 90.6.18. Order number one. I do not know what has become of D -D Dr. Tully. Unfortunately, it meant that he was unable to have the important D -D discussion with me about my promotion to lead research assistant. I have come to a decision. In his absence, it seems only right that the provisional lead research assistant should take over his position as acting science manager. To, 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 to ensure that there is a continuity of experimentation. Now, it is time to put some of these things in order. Ominent official log, science division, science manager, burger lad mark four. 90.06.24.05.00.00 This is the beginning of the official log reports of Acting Science Manager Burgle. In the absence of Dr. Tully, I am doing my best to continue the experiments on the shrinking machine. Without his guidance and with a complete lack of instructions, I have decided, for the moment, to embark on a program of reorganization of which Dr. Tully had neglected for many, many months. I have begun by cataloging all the data into a new organizational scheme, which I have determined to be far more understandable. Each point of data will be placed into seven categories based on the day of the week, starting, of course, with Tuesdays. Estimated time of completion, 16 weeks. 16 weeks? I need to get myself a new research assistant. Okay, and that is the last of the burgle chips. Sorry, they're a little bit out of order there compared to the other videos, but that is all of the audio logs that are currently in the game that you guys could go around and find. Now, there are some secret notes, and if you guys are interested in me reading all of those to you as well, please make sure you guys let me know down in the comments. I'd love to do a video on that as well. But thank you, everybody, so much for watching through all of these. I hope you guys had a great time. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.